inappropriate touching by a school bus driver of a student, we look at every detail to ensure that we haven't missed anything. Tonight, a local school administrator has resigned less than 24 hours after a bus driver was arrested, accused of sexually assaulting a six-year-old girl. That unnamed assistant principal at Walnut Creek Elementary School reportedly saw suspect Leon Young touch the student months ago, but gave only a warning. We'll take a closer look at those accusations shortly, but first, KXAN's Amanda Brandeis spoke with the victim's family after a closed-door meeting for parents at that school tonight. And Amanda, I'm only imagining a very stressful night for everyone involved here. Absolutely, Robert and Shannon. The atmosphere was tense and parents are angry. And as for the young victim said to be at the center of all this, her family telling us they just want answers. She thinks it's her fault and she does not realize that it's not. And by offering candy to for your kids to be quiet, it's not a, it's not a good thing. Tonight, the victim's family speaking out after leaving that meeting early unsatisfied with answers they were getting from the district. Looking at one another to answer questions. You ask them a question and they look at, well, we'll let this person answer it or we'll let this person. Nobody knew nothing. The family telling us they just want answers, adding this is frustrating for all of them, especially the victim's mother. She has been not been able to get very much information to from uh, AISD. Everything's a hush hush situation and so we're just we're just hoping to get some kind of justice around here. Other parents still trying to grasp what happened on that Walnut Creek Elementary School bus. I was in Chuck. I got two daughters. Trying to make sense of something so puzzling and most agreeing the meeting wasn't much help. They not answer the question that we asked. You know what I mean? They tried. Yeah. Like, but like then they were not like 100% uh, I was, I'm not satisfied 100%. Not even 80%. Parents say they also wish the district told them about the incident sooner, but authorities say they did not because of the ongoing investigation. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Amanda, thank you. And one of the big questions around this alleged assault is the timeline. According to court documents, the assistant principal noticed Young touching the victim months ago. And as we mentioned, that administrator resigned tonight. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller found out what happens next. The day two children came forward with information about Young is the same day an AISD spokesperson says the district put Young on paid administrative leave. Ten days later, they fired him. But court records show back in January, the assistant principal told Young not to touch students. Can you help me understand, a school official saw some touching in January, why the school bus driver was not removed from his position at that point? My understanding through the investigation is that the, the assistant principal saw what appeared to be some inappropriate uh, contact between the driver and the student. Um, my understanding is that the assistant principal immediately addressed that incident and we continue to look at what happened during that time frame. Was it reported like it should have been? Police believe the bus driver and student also had interactions before January. Part of the investigation now is examining what happened between the start of the school year and the day students spoke out. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN Investigates. And Austin ISD says seven of the nine buses for that school had cameras. Young drove one of the buses that did not. After what happened, the district switched out buses, so each bus that serves Walnut Creek Elementary School now has a camera. A spokesperson says overall the camera systems are in 85% of the district's buses.